let's talk about the kind of fun stuff before we get to the payment the execution right <clears throat> the execution basically is the day that you're actually going to do the commercial it's usually a fantastic day by the way but here's a few things you will definitely be woken up very early you're treated as a king they will pick you up they will drop you off you will be fed basically you'll have your own day where you're special that day is your day by the way jibambe more importantly do your job just listen to the director they already gave you the job so you don't you're not re-auditioning go do your best to do what the director says and you should be fine but there's always a few downsides to everything the biggest lesson i've learned is when you're on set especially if you me that is and you have a more shane personality it's always important to be very wary of who you're talking to most people there seem to be your friend but understand that there's things that were happening before you came along the part where they are casting you came along and for that reason you're dealing with a lot of egos and a lot of you know stuff like that so you might want to be careful my advice is just shut up be on your headphones do your job do your thing but if you are going to socialize eh, careful with your tongue i think that's advice to myself actually <laughs> anyways because i ruffle a lot of feathers but before i get to the payment part i'd like to conclude and say that your success as a commercial model and i suspect as most art most artists uh is going to be pegged on a few features a your features because most likely they are picking you because you look a certain way you can't really change some features but if you can and you really feel like you want to commit to that go for it you could always grow a pair of boobies or but whatever who knows i don't judge but other than uh, besides that if they ask for like a six foot audition for people six feet i'm not going such is life it is okay now more importantly another thing that's going to determine your success as a commercial model and i think a lot in life is your skill set now here's the thing you can look as fantastic as you want but if they want a person that can ride a motorcycle they want a guy that can ride a motorcycle so they could they'd rather adjust the brief to fit that to fit that person other than now try get this person to learn so for that reason learn as many skills as possible i think twice now i've been uh, shortlisted for a commercial but since i couldn't play an instrument screwed me over but even that being the case i've done several commercials simply because i could ride a motorbike and i started riding a motorbike as an accident such is life so learn how to drive learn how to do things essentially keep track of your hobbies <laughs> keep doing your things the things you like to do because they will eventually culminate into one big good thing about you another third thing is going to be your adaptability and proactiveness i mean adapt the job requires you at night i mean life is such proactiveness look for the people that you need to look for be aggressive as you look for these gigs and i think you should be fine as the universe shall allow now after that here's a few words of advice from other people that have done this shit better than i have so uh, the key thing is confidence confidence na kukamu kijua material yenye uko nayo so mm-hmm. ukikamu kiwa sure na uko confident sana sana utapata okay kata hiyo 